What up, Kimchi? So it's a lovely afternoon in Abu Dhabi, and I'm with my boy Wasteman Omran, and we're heading over to J Cafe to grab some coffee because he actually has a nice coffee today, even though it's like 4 p.m., which is really unusual for you. Why didn't you have your coffee yet? I was watching a TV series. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Uh, but anyways, we're going to grab some coffee now, chill for a bit, play some like Clash Royale, and then later on, we're probably going to head on over to Omran's Majlis and chill for a bit because I haven't really spent that much time in your Majlis, bro. It's been a while. I know, but let's say we don't know the plan yet. What's new, man? Yeah. What's new? Yeah, it's, it's just flops in like any minutes. Exactly, the it just happens. Going to Dubai. <laughs> yeah, going to Dubai, going to bloody China. You never know what's gonna happen, but I like it like that. It's cool when it's spontaneous. All right, guys. So we just arrived at the Majlis, and you will not believe what we're doing. I feel like, I'm, honestly, I feel like I have deja vu right now. Me and Omran. Are playing Black Ops 3. Bro, bro, how much nostalgia do you have right now? Oh, I don't remember even how to play. Bro, I feel I'm feeling myself getting fatter already because you remember how we just used to just snack and play oh, video we're games? Gonna go buy snacks now. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna buy you some snacks. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> so today is a lovely Tuesday. And the plan for today is a simple one. We're just gonna go to the mall, me and Nicola, isn't that right, Nicola? Yeah. We're gonna go to the mall because I'm gonna go be grabbing some fresh suits. And the reason why is because I'm getting married again. Isn't that right, Nicola? No, you're not. <laughs> the reason why I'm picking up some new suits is because I'm actually starting a new job soon. And I wanna look fresh for that new job, so I'm gonna make sure that I look good. So to look good, you gotta dress good. So I don't really have that many suits, so I need to pick up some. And then, nice sound. Uh, and then after that, we're probably gonna go head to uh, the furniture store here. We're gonna look if there's a bed base because me and Nicholas still haven't got that bed base. Like we've been promised twice to get bed bases, but for some reason it just doesn't seem to be happening. So we're gonna try and find one today. And then after that, we're gonna go watch a movie because today is like the equivalent of Orange Wednesdays in England. So we've got Do Tuesday, so we get to get two for one tickets to go to the cinema. So we're gonna go watch a movie. Just chill. Guys, look, I was checking out these trousers, okay? These are like suit trousers. And I didn't realize they say on the back that they're joggers. So basically, they're suit trousers with jogging bottom ends. So like, you know when you like got, you know, cookie straight after work, you gotta go to the gym. I got you, fam. I got you, I'm buying these. No, I'm not. Right, so I found a couple shirts, well, three shirts rather. And I'm actually happy I was able to find some, because normally, I, I don't know if you guys find this before, I find finding trousers extremely hard. Because like, I got a big bum, it's real. So yeah, I find it difficult, but you I found some. You had to put that out there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I had to put that out there just in case you guys were wondering. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I'm going to go to another store now, see if they have some more stuff. And in the meantime, because we're still here in this mall, we're going to go check out the furniture see if we find a bed. All right, so we just come to the furniture store. We're going to check out if there's any nice bed bases here. We've had like, we've checked it out here before and we found a couple we like, but they just never had it in stock. So we're going to check it out again, see if they have the one we like. And if they do, hopefully they got it in stock. I'm very apprehensive. I'm very apprehensive. I don't think they're going to have it at all. They, they said they couldn't even do it, but the other one said they can't. Yeah, so, so this one doesn't even believe I, Yeah, I don't have a lot of trust in this store. I'm not going to lie, but because we're here and I thought might as well check. All right, so this is a new bed I haven't seen before. I like it because it's like soft fabric. And the reason why I need this is because I'm really clumsy. Me and my wife are really clumsy. So I'm worried that we're going to like stump our toe on the end of the bed because I used to have a wooden bed. All right, and every morning I'd wake up, I would hit my leg against the side of the bed because it was wood. So we're looking for something cushiony like this, but something preferably with storage. And this bed doesn't have storage, so it's a no from me. We're gonna check out some more beds. Hopefully they've got some good ones. But honestly, I don't think they do. All they have is seem to have is wooden beds and not that many. Like see, like this, for example, this is a nice bed in terms of the fact it has storage, right? See, nice storage space, decent storage space. But you see right here, this is the issue. Right here, this little piece of wood, because I know for a fact, every time I get off the bed, I'm gonna smack my knee straight into that. Check out this bed. And it looks like something the queen would sleep on. Check it out, look at that detail, jeez. Jeez, look at that, look at that, look at the legs as well, jeez. Prestige, we don't deserve that bed. Oh, okay. All right guys, so we're literally leaving the store, and on the way out, I saw this bed that caught my eye. 
and I think this might actually be the one because it's really nice like look check it out it's got like really nice leather as you can see like really nice brown black leather which matches our like leather couch and like all of our decor in the house because we've got like dark colors because me and my wife both like dark colors however it has storage check it out at the front you can pull this out and then there's storage underneath and also they have a different version where it like comes up so the whole bed base is like storage that's the one we're going to look to get if not we might buy it with this storage but we'll have to see if it fits in the apartment because i'm not sure are you sure if it will fit it will fit <laughs> i'll make it fit <laughs> we'll, we'll like drill a hole into so, the wall I'm so fed up. yeah literally so, we've been searching for a bed base how long has it been like three months, months? Yeah, yeah it's been a long time so hopefully this is the one he's just checking if they got it in stock if they do i'll be buying that right now and then i'll be able to do a tour soon so fingers crossed i'm just saying i don't get this whole pillow thing on what people have it's just ridiculous i'll tell you exactly what it's for it's basically you know when the wife's pissed off at the husband she puts stuff like on the bed to annoy him before he has to have Mate, sleep this will piss me <laughs> off guys it's official we have a bed base <laughs> we have a bed base finally after three months of shopping we finally have a bed base and it's the one you saw earlier um in a different size because that was a king size we're getting a queen size because me and, me and my wife are quite small. We're small people, isn't that right? We're not big. We're, we're, we're small. We're, we're shrimps. Um, so yeah, so we got a cute queen size bed. And uh, I'm just, I'm so happy. Like I told the guy, I literally said it, isn't it? I didn't lie. I was like to him, I swear, if this is not right, I'm going to kill you. I, like, I tell you, I'll come back. I'll remember your face. And he's like, no problem, sir. He gave me his name back. He's like, this is my name. Come back and shout at me if it's wrong. But hopefully it won't be. He's a nice guy, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, but it's going to deliver. Guess what day it's going to deliver, guys? What day is it going to deliver, Nicola? 17th. 17th. Of the 17th. 17th is my lucky number. So, yeah. Hopefully, you should arrive then. Then I'll film the room this tour will, after that. This will confirm if it definitely is your lucky number. Yeah, if it's the bed's broken and bad, then 17 That's isn't my lucky number bad. anymore. But, anyways, hopefully, it's good. And right now, we're going to grab some food because my wife's hungry. She hasn't eaten all day. And then we're going to go ahead to the movie, which is Boss Baby, which I'm excited for because I've wanted to watch this for like a couple weeks now. But Omran doesn't really like animation, animated movies that much. So, Go and watch with my wife because she's a ledge. Isn't that right? Jeez, someone trying to compete with Omran, yeah? <laughs> All right, so we all finished eating, and honestly, I've been to the Roma before for like coffee, and their coffee is pretty good, but I've never had their food before, and their food was really good. Like, it was solid Italian food. Like, what do you think of your, your focaccia you had? I liked it a lot, but I think it would have been nice to like tomato instead of chicken. I don't like tomato, so I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that. <laughs> However, I do agree that I tried a sandwich, and the chicken just made it too bulky. Like, I had cheese I and pesto. It, it didn't work. Yeah. It, it was good, it was good. Like, it we give it like really, an 8. It was good though. Either, you give it yeah. an 8, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I give it like an 8 out of 10. Just if it didn't have the chicken, I'd probably give it like a 9. As for mine, I had the spaghetti bolognese and I can't really fault anything with it. Like, it was really nice. Like, it wasn't anything over the top fancy. It was just simple spaghetti bolognese, exactly how like my, my mom makes it or my grandmother makes it. And it was really good. I liked it. So, I would have to give it like. Oh, it's hard for me not to give it a 10. I think I have to give it a 9.5. Because it just it reminded me of home cooking, like, yeah, and it was the perfect size. Like, it wasn't too big, it wasn't too small. It was perfectly filling. The only reason I have to like make it lose a mark is that I wish they put a little less Parmesan cheese on top. Cause they put a bit too much on top, which I'm shocked that I'm saying that because I love cheese. But yeah, it was it was really good. Um, anyways, right now we're leaving the mall. We're gonna go grab the car and head over to a different mall, which is where we're gonna watch the movie called Boss Baby. You excited? Yeah. Alright, so we just made it to the cinema and my wife Nick is actually already inside the cinema because I need to go to the toilet because I always do this thing I always forget to go to the toilet before I watch the movie and then I drink like a massive drink whilst watching the movie and then I end up having like dying to go to the toilet or having to go to the toilet during the cinema So I made sure today I didn't make the rookie mistake went to the toilet and now I'm gonna go watch the movie So I'll let you guys know how it is when it ends. Alright, so I just made it home and honestly the movie was I want to say average like it started off well it could have been a lot better than it was like I liked how they animated a lot of things like when they were telling stories and stuff however the like the movie just dragged on isn't that right Hayati? yeah because it was like 
like an hour and a half, but it honestly felt like two it hours. It felt like two and a half, three hours easy. It was dragging and so It was dragging on, like honestly so long. And it was kind of random like what happened towards the end, but overall like it was a good watch. I would recommend watching it just once. This is definitely not a movie that you're going to want to watch more than once or like buy on DVD, but if they ever do make a sequel, I will not be watching it because I'm done with this, but yeah, definitely check it out if you're into animation and you want to see some good animation. If you want to watch a good story or something else. Anyways, I'm about to head to sleep because I've got a long day tomorrow. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a massive, massive thumbs up. If you're new, please that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys very soon. Karimchi out. Want to say anything, Nicola? Bye. <laughs>